Hello ladies and gentlemen, hope you are well. This is mathematics. In this video, we want to look at this question. It is from 2017 grade 12, paper 2, and this was question 5a, section A. So please pay attention. For the geometric progression, 20, 5, 1 over 1, 1 over 4, it goes on find part one the common ratio and two the nth term and then c the sum of the first eight terms okay which topic is this sequences and series and i said we have two types of sequences major two types we have what we call ap arithmetic progression and GP geometric progression so this one is GP now we have been given this GP okay which is 20 5 1 1 over 4 and it goes on the first part of the question says we have to find the common ratio now remember in GP we have common ratio then in AP, we have common difference. Here it's a ratio. How do we find that? When you are given a GP like this, your common ratio, abbreviated by small letter R, is equal to, this is the first term, this is the second term. Now because it is a ratio, you divide. Second, 5 over 20. Please, not 20 over 5. It is like this. Remember what we were doing when we were looking at AP. AP, we were subtracting. This minus this. That is AP. But GP, you divide. This divided by this. It will be the same answer when you say this divided by this. Because it's common. So when I divide this, reduce, how many fives are in there? One. From here, four. One over four. That is the answer. So that is the answer for that question. Hope we are together. The nth term. That's the second part. So this is the first one. Then second one, we are told to find the nth term. So nth term has got a formula. We say nth term, nth term of a GP is always equal to a r to the power n minus 1. Look at the way of written power. This is not like this. a r n minus mm 1. -mm. It's not like that. n minus 1 power. So, in here, since we are looking for the end term, we just substitute our A and R. That's all. So now I'll say my nth term will be equal to what is my A? A means first term. So in that GP, the first term is what? First term is 20. This is first term, second term, third term, just like that. So the first term here is 20. Where there is A put 20. R is the common ratio, which is this one. So when you are substituting, because it has got the power here, put it in brackets. And uh, this is 1 over 4, like this. Then n minus 1. At this point, please leave it the way it is. Do not multiply or reduce 20 and 4. Don't do that. Why? This 1 over 4 has a power, this side. So you cannot multiply here before this. You can't. Leave it there. That is the answer. The third part. We are told to find the sum of the first 8 terms. So we only have 1, 2, 3. Now 8 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Add them. That is what they mean by sum of the first 8 terms. So this one has got formula. 
okay we have the formula here so we can say sum of terms in an in a gp is equal to a open bracket 1 minus rn over 1 minus c r are you seeing that or this one can be written as a you start with this rn minus 1 over r minus c 1 now you only need to use one either this one or this one which one are we going to use it now depends on the value of r it depends on the value of r take for example if r is equal to 2 what we are avoiding here is a negative down here so if r is equal to 2 it means i'm not going to use this formula here i'll use it here so in short i'm saying if r is greater than 0 or is greater than 1 i'm going to use this one because it's this one that is going to give me a positive i'll put 2 here to be 2 minus 1 1 positive but if i put it here you find that here i'll have a negative because it will be 1 minus 2 negative 1 so we are avoiding negatives so to pick the correct one you look at the r are you there? You look at the R. So looking at the R that we have here, it is 1 over 4. Which one do you think will be used here? Is it this formula or this one? 1 minus 1 over 4. Am I going to get a negative answer? Or 1 minus 1 over 4. Here, 1 over 4 minus 1. Here, definitely, I'll be able to get a negative answer. So the one I'm going to use, it's this one. Hope we are together. So now that I know that is that one, I'll say sum is equal to A, 1 minus, okay, over 1 minus CR. Now the substitution starts. Sum M. Sum of how many terms? The sum of the first eight terms. So where there is n, you put eight. Sum of eight terms is equal to my first term, 20. Open bracket. 1 minus r, 1 over 4. 1 over 4. Put this in brackets. We have a power here, which is it. Um, sum of 8 then do that over 1 minus our r 1 over 4 1 over 4 sum of 8 terms is equal to now since this is paper 2 you will be allowed to use a calculator so we're going to say 20 again please follow me step by step here don't say 20 times this. There is a power here so that you have to deal with. So 20, 1 minus, we can now get the answer to this. 1 over 4 to the power 8. You can use the calculator or you can still say uh, 1 over 4 to the power 8. The same as saying 1 to the power 8, which will still remain 1, over 4 to the power 8. Now you can use the calculator there, 4 to the power 8. There is a power on the calculator if you are using the original calculator. Not those calculators when you do this, see, the key buttons here, they are kiche, kiche, Use original calculators. Eh? So we have 4 to the power 8. So we say 4 raised to the power, my calculator, power is there, it will give you something like this. 4 power. Are you seeing that? Then 8. So 4 to the power 8, my answer will be 6, 5, 6, 5, 5, 3, 6. Okay, that is the answer that you are going to get. 
over, you subtract here, 1 minus 1 over 4, so say 1 minus 1 over 4. You are going to get 3 over 4, so 3 over 4. Sum of 8 terms will be equal to, we can now find the answer here, say 20. We find the answer to this, is the calculator. 1 minus 1 minus 1, 1 over, don't use division, use over on the calculator, over. So we're saying 1 minus 1 over, there's over on the calculator there, it will be written like this, that is over. But to some calculators, the fraction will be written the way uh, it is supposed to be written. If you are using, for example, function 83 of the Casio calculator, it will just be able to write the fraction the way it is. So, 1 minus 1 over this number, 6, 5, 5, 3, 6, 3, 6, you are going to get it in decimal, so you can say 0 0.99, at least get 4 before the final answer. So 99, or 5 of them, 99, and then there's 8 here, get it in that way. Over the one in uh, fraction 3 over 4 there, can be written in decimals, which is 0 0.75. Again, using the calculator here, we are going to say sum of 8 will be equal to 20 times this number. So we are going to say 20 times 0 0.99998 will be able to get 19.9996. Okay? Divided by... 0 0.75 sum of 8 will be equal to so we divide by 0 0.75 the answer will be 26.6661 so our final answer now will be sum of 8 will be equal to just write 3 significant figures which will be 26.7 this 6 will be rounded off to 7. So this is the final answer. This is the way the question was supposed to be answered. Thank you very much. I hope you have enjoyed the lesson. If you have, please don't uh, remain behind. Join our online classes in mathematics, English, biology, science, and additional mathematics at an affordable fee. Very, very affordable. Okay, lessons have already started and make sure you share the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on TikTok and Facebook. Thank you for watching.